Hi everyone, my name is Olada Po Johnson Otukoya. I want to talk about how to pass examinations. This is particularly for secondary school students, but it can be useful for other category of students. Now, um, number one, before I even start listening, listing them, I want to let us know that examination is just to test our knowledge on a particular subject or course of study. So it's not a do or die affair. It's not something that you must um, do everything within your power illegitimately to pass. It's just to know your level, to ascertain your level of knowledge on a particular subject. So um, if you are able to, to pass through or to undergo a training for three years, that's to, to learn a subject for three years, I think it's not um, too much to just test you for some 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 hours to know how you have prepared so it's not it's not to kill you it's not to punish you so it's just to know how well you've known that um subject and it covers a, a, a wide range within that subject subject or course of study now back to what we want to discuss so i will now start listing each of the points of how to pass the examination so the number one on my list is use the recommended test book i know some of us may find this very difficult one recommended test books are usually expensive some of them can be as, as, as can be the price of each of them can be as high as four thousand era five thousand era depending on the subject and as a student for example in nigeria you need like seven to eight uh, to nine subjects uh, uh, test books to buy for each of the subjects so if um you are to buy a test book or let's say four thousand other times nine that's thirty six thousand and you have one uh, nine times yeah and you have one that sells for maybe one two or one five <laughs> which one would you prefer but if you have to look at the, the, the prices at the initial stage, it will cost, it, 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 it will have uh, a dear effect. It will have, um, a re, um, it, will ha it, will it will really affect your output. So it is important to use the recommended test book. And how to get the recommended test book is very easy. It's either you, 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 you check with your subject teachers at school to ask them for the syllabus or to give you the list of recommended test book or you check on the website of your state or federal of the federal ministry of education or the the uh, examination bodies you can check on their website to note recommended test books they are very important in your success in your um, success journey towards having a good result after your educational process the second one is to use um, a good to, to use the appropriate or good um, materials for preparation some of these materials include um, past questions reviews commentaries calculators among the re um, among others you need them they will help you to to practice because eventually because even in the examination you will need many of these um, materials that I have listed. So it is good to also practice with them so that when you get to the examination proper, you would have got used to it. Another one, the third point is prepare well or properly ahead. This is another major area too. You need to have prepared like at least 75% when it is about six to six, uh, six to three months before the examination, it should have been at least seventy-five percent ready, at least. So it means if you are waking up at any time of the day, uh, and well, particularly at night, and you are told to tell us something in that subject, you should be able to tell us something. You should not, you should not be sleeping. You should not be slug. You should not be, you should not be um, half prepared. So you need to have been prepared and i've also discovered that little or no preparation makes a student to fail from my interaction with examination scripts i have discovered that so you need to work on yourself 
please parents and other stakeholders should assist students to pass the examination i'm talking of prior to the exam before the examination not during examination i'm talking of aided exam passing i'm talking of pre help them with the proper with with um things that will make them to succeed i can see it i can feel it in many of these students they want to succeed they want to be independent but because they don't they are not well prepared they want to do anything nobody wants to nobody wants to be um ashamed but if they are well prepared if they are if 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 if, if they have the adequate um preparation it will be easy for them to succeed so let's try as much as we can to help the students so the fourth on my point is answer past questions correctly without checking the answers at the back of the past question pack this is a common trend among students you are trying to to answer a question just because you don't know it you now went to the back to check you are not helping yourself answer if it is 50 questions if it is over, over 60 if it is over 100 answer all the questions based on what you know if there is anyone you don't know leave it when you are done with the past question when you are done with a particular year of examination mark it if there is anyone you miss and you are sure you know it you can check it from your test book and if there is anyone you don't know check the answer from your test book so it is past questions are just they are like um a replica of what you could meet and you know it has been done before it is from the test book so they are just like um um practicing what likely questions that 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 could be said but it's not the main question so by the time you are you are you have practiced on those um questions there's a possibility that some of them may come out in the um in the real exam when it is your turn so i, I advise that students should practice at least 10 years before their current year of examination let's assume this is 2021 i'm writing a certificate examination this year any i, I should start from 2020 up to 20 oh, um 2011 or 2010 that's 2011 or 20, 2010 so at least i will cover like 10 years i will start from the latest to the oldest and i will start from the oldest to the latest by the time I, I i i by the time i do or i laid my hands on those um um year range i will have covered like maybe 70 to 80 or 90 percent of the te- of the topics and better still to help yourself try from the latest year the latest past question to the to the first past question in that uh, subject some of them can be as old as 1988 some of them can be as old as 1970 something try to answer back to back from the so if you are starting it to be from year 2020 to either 1988 or 1970 then from 1988 to 2020 you try you you answer them i can assure you that if you can do that without cheating and checking your um your 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 results with your first with the recommended textbook I can assure you that you are like 90% sure of passing. So try that. This is a proven um, method. Some of us, what we are doing now, it is by virtue by virtue of our exposure. If we had some of some of these things were even told when I was younger, but because of our naivety and because of our let me see because of my own students, I would be like, oh, don't tell me that I know what I can. I, I know what I am um, learning and I know what to write in the examination. But now that I have maybe grown older and I have seen better, that's why I'm trying to um, guide you to not to fall prey to that mistake. So, like I said, follow um, all the recommendations that I have listed and try as much as you can to use the appropriate ones. That that will help you to pass the examination. The main the main reason for being sent to school is to pass, but you should do it legitimately. You should do it in a reasonable way, not affecting someone. So, please subscribe to our channel by pressing the subscribe button and turning on the bell 
notification button thank you very much for watching please inform your friends and colleagues thank you